Hello and welcome friends, families, and strangers alike to part Bloodborne Let's Play. Welcome back. Alright. Now I said in the last video at the end that we were going to the sewers, but I decided, ah, fuck it. We're going after the cleric beast. We're going to go take that giant bitch down. See what we can do here. Feeling pretty confident. It's a good day. It's a good day for some Bloodborne. And those dodges just signify just that. Bam. It is a good day for Bloodborne. Well, first off, I don't know why I'm going the long way. Second off. A little overconfident. I'm used to playing on a character that's much stronger and can just pretty much tear through everything. Need to remember that I am just a wee little low level 10. Yeah! If I can't be hit, I'm a ninja. Come on, come on, come on. Overkill. Oh, oh wow. Look at that. Look at that! Little bastards got like one, one little, little tick of health. Fuck. Okay. Confidence is starting to wane. Everything's not working out so well. All right. Oh, we're just an, just an unassuming bridge. Until that guy shows up. Let's go, cleric beast. So I know there's like a way to stagger. Whoa. Thank God that didn't hit me. Stagger her, and I think it's just like shooting her in the face at the right time. Ow. Or shooting him in the face at the right time, whichever it may be. But I'll be honest, I haven't really figured it out. Yeah, swipe. Swing and a miss. Oh, not that time though. Alright, come on! Alright, we dropped her. Come on, you damn dirty beast! This one's all about just getting your dodges on point. Kind of staying pretty close. Especially when it swings with its left hand. Right? Oh, whoa! Come on! Ow! Ow! Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! Alright, we got this. We got this. No worries. We got lots of blood vials. Hopefully, she's not hitting too hard. Toss them all top ladder. Whip out the big, big axe here. I don't really need to be shooting her. Oh, she tried to grab me. Let's do a safety blood bow because I don't want to die. Oh! She gets me with that backswing every time. Or he. I don't know. So I'm just gonna call it sheep. I like sheep. This is going a lot better than I was expecting, to be honest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was more like what I was expecting to happen a lot. Okay, we're all right. We're all right. We're all right. Oh. Missed that first one, but she did not miss the second one. Oh, I jumped into that like a goddamn idiot. You're thinking that was a scrub move? You are very much correct. Oh. Ooh. That was close. Thank God she decided to do that. Okay, I probably shouldn't try it for the charge attack. 
Oh man. Just will not stop attacking. Those wide swings. Oh, she's going for the grab. Let's see. Alright, we are starting to get a little low on the blood vials here. Let's see if we get into some dangerous territory. No, we got this. Yeah. Oh. We got it. We got it. Just a couple more. Can't get cocky though. Can't get cocky. Yeah, we got her. Look at that. Look at that. First try. Woohoo! Man. I wasn't even scared, except I was totally scared. Alright. Well, that's one boss down. Got us some insight. We can finally get some levels. So that little eyeball up in there with the four in the top right hand corner next to my blood echoes is. Alright, back to the hunter's dream. Do some leveling up. Didn't work. Really exciting at all. I mean, just go talk to doll. Lots of boring numbers. Um, but we got some more strength for the arcade. We're gonna upgrade our weapon a little bit. Should be hitting a little harder. Be able to take some more hits as well. We are just one shotting these crows now. This guy's still gonna take a little work, but a lot less than it used to. Now nah, you're just a pushover. Alright. So now we are actually going to head to the sewers that I was talking about in the last video. Alrighty, it is time for some vengeance. You were here with me last time. At the end of my video, these guys kind of killed me. I'm, uh, I'm looking to get some payback here. Make up for that past mistake. That's a good way to start. Like I said, now we got some level here. It's got to be. A lot easier. Oh, shit. Doesn't mean I won't take it. Yay, look. I knew I could do it. I just had to believe. Gotta be a believer. I'm not sure if all of these dogs can burst out, but I know that a few of them do. So, we just play it safe and we get rid of all the dogs. You're thinking, oh my god, you being a monster. Well, to be honest, I don't even know if we're the good guys in this game. Doesn't really seem like it to me. Seems like we might be part of the problem, if not the main problem. Yeah, dog. You'd think, you know, being a dog, you would definitely have seen that coming, but... There's a, there's a lady in here. She's kind of an old bitch, but once we get a little further, we can tell her of a safe place to go. And then she just sits around, and as far as I can tell, is useless. But, uh, who knows? I don't. I don't for sure know if she's useless, but she seems pretty useless. I could look it up, but, you know. Boom. That's Alina Crow. She, uh, eventually you end up having to kill her. And, uh, once you do, you can buy her armor, which is pretty- Oh, shit. Amazingly, we're not dead yet. But, uh, you know. Definitely probably should be, considering I just dropped from, like, 50 feet straight onto cement. I hate you, Rifleman. I hate you. The only thing that you're good for is guaranteed Quicksilver, it seems. But otherwise, you're useless. I'm supposed to chop that down. Do -do -do. 
Oh yeah. I like to live dangerously. You know, just scale across stuff. Oh, I'm gonna fall again. Oh, this time I'm still somehow did not die. Alright, I'm not gonna make you watch this. I'm gonna go grab that item and we'll uh we'll come back. Alright. So got that item. It's this little trick weapon here. Saw spear. I have literally never used this item before um so i'm gonna give it a try see what we can do here could go well could go horribly horribly wrong well uh, with bloodborne that's a always a strong possibility that something is going to go terribly wrong getting pecked in the shins by a bird i guess that's not terribly wrong but that definitely sucks there's a shortcut about this ladder. I'm just going to go unlock that real quick. Alright, yay! Shortcut! Boom! I don't know if I need to talk to this person. Okay, so I'm pretty sure I can use this music box in some way on the next boss we fight, Father Gascon, which would be sweet because he is such a pain in the ass. Oh, a lot of these bosses are, but Father Gascon is on one of those top spots, just infuriating. I, I will probably die to him lots eventually end up using a co-op partner to help me do it. But, uh, this bridge will cross when we come to it, I guess. Creepy dudes down! Oh, more creepy dudes. Da, creepy dude! Da! And, uh, there's an uncle who looks like this guy. Ah, oh, the pig enemies! I love the pig enemies. They look like they're gonna be hard and tough, but really, I mean, they hit hard, that's for damn sure, but they're not difficult to kill in the slightest. Mm, pretty dumb. This crow, oh, there's two of them, yeah, those guys are gonna fuck me over. Yeah, they just kind of throw themselves at you. Oh! I missed. Ah! No! Babe! What has happened to you? You used to be so cute. He went to the city and look what happened. On a metabolic steroid or some shit. That'll do, pig. You cannot poison at me. I'm sorry, babe. I didn't want to turn you into bacon, but actually, we probably shouldn't turn that into bacon. That pig looks diseased. This is a nice little shortcut, because at the end of this fucking bridge, um, there's just like a whole group of guys. And then that giant ball that they just rolled on fire, which they don't send until you're pretty much all the way up the bridge. So you got like eight guys running at you. <laughs> and a giant fireball. That's just, it is not fun. All right, so we are actually coming up on another boss here. The one I was talking about just a minute ago, Father Gascon, whom I hate so much. But we're going to try to take him out. Because, uh... Because I love you guys. And I want to do that for you. 
There he is, just being all unassuming in the corner. Oh! Oh, dude, he was obviously dead. That was his head that just came off. Come on, now. Ooh. Yeah, he is a hunter, so he moves like a hunter. He's got the dip and the dodge and the dive. So I activated it, but I'm not sure what it did. It does not seem like anything. Oh, we got that one, but I missed. Because I was scared. Oh, it stunned him. Okay. Interesting. Oh, I gotta be careful. Okay, well, that is rad as hell. See, I fought this guy like a billion and a half times and didn't even know this. And this is the part where it gets just to be a pain in my ass. He does not really let up. Oh my goodness. Oh shit, this is what I'm talking about. He just does not let up. And I just walked myself into a corner. Get it off. Oh, I don't think it's working anymore. Shit. All right. But. All righty, guys. Well, with that, I think we're going to end the second part there. A little disappointing. Gaston got us, but like I said, I was expecting it. He's a pain in the ass. The music box is definitely going to make it simpler. Should probably look up and see if it actually works on this beast form more than the one time it did or if there's certain times but eh, we'll figure it out so uh thanks again for watching if this is your second time through thanks for watching both parts you're a badass give a shout out to graham for watching for his uh suggestions from my last video i appreciate it bud hope you enjoy this one uh and that'll be it Bye bye